I just feel so emotional today but like not sad emotional I think it's because I'm on my period I was about to tweet it I don't really know how to put it into words into the character limit oh god I'm such an ugly crier I wish I could have wrote myself a note to Leanne of last year like a year and however many months since everything happened that I will be happier that life will be good that everything will change like it's just crazy how much can change in that time I just wish I could reach out to myself then and tell myself that I will be so much happier that things in my life will work out I won't feel lost I'll feel like I have a place that I'm loved and I'll go through some shit but that makes you a stronger person and where I'm at right now I'm really happy and I'm crying. I just started thinking about it and I just burst into tears. And the reason why I'm showing you this is because sometimes you just randomly cry and I am an ugly crier. Like, why does my nose go so red? Oh, uh, it's currently 12 o'clock. I've been watching YouTube videos and finding new people and I just stumbled across such an important series i'll share it in the um description box and it's by hannah and she's on a hormone series i can relate to it so much so she's documenting her experience of coming off the pill and also talking about really important educational things about being a woman and stuff like that i came off the pill july 2015 my hormones were everywhere i was just crazily emotionally unstable and then a couple of months later i lost jacqueline and i think that just made it even like well you know grief is such a hard thing to deal with anyway and when your emotions are just like jesus christ it was so hard it took my body i think three and a half months to properly kind of settle i noticed such vast changes in me as a person coming off the pill i was on the pill for 10 years and i basically came off because i thought that was a long time and i wanted my body to kind of go back to normal because the pill i was on same as hannah this serodep one so i basically didn't have periods for 10 or so years i felt with the pill and the fake hormones i felt like at a constant kind of normal i feel a lot more me and i feel more and I feel more normal as a as a functioning human being being off the pill she just speaks about it all so well did interviews with her mum she's spoken about the smear test all these important topics like other contraceptive methods as well just made me realize like these or well, not necessarily that I'm going to talk about periods from now on no as in there's far more important topics in the world after vlogmas I will not keep daily vlogging I still want to upload on this channel which brings me to my point like it says in the header of this channel it's personal as extras it's vlogs I want to do more like personal personal more topics that are relatable and important if that makes sense so my main channel is more entertainment what I'm buying what I'm wearing I think that's what people want on that channel to be honest and then this channel I feel like I am having a conversation with people that care now I'm not speaking to you face to face but I say my point and you reply with yours in the comments so we are having a conversation I feel there's much more connection as someone said on Twitter I like you but I like you more now that I'm getting to know you having comments of people like I love to see more of your personality I love that I'm feeling like I'm getting to know you so I want to keep that going on this channel so yeah main channel more entertainment and stuff this channel not necessarily just about me more openness kind of like in my vlog I had that rant the other day those kind of points I just hope I can articulate well. I'm worried with YouTube when you say your opinion. It's hard to get everything out across in the right way and it can be taken the wrong way. I think I'll talk about my experience with coming off the contraceptive pill. Calm down now, my face is less red. Let's go on my day. I managed to kind of put it into words and writing this, I'm crying again. Um, but yeah, I wish I could send myself a letter. To me last year, it lost to confuse. Things get so much better. You fall in love and you'll find your way. An awesome start to the day. Helen and I have been trying to organise this for so long. But we suck. We live in the same city, but we literally hardly ever see each other. So we're going to get shit done every Monday, start of next year. We're going to do shit and we're going to be awesome girl bosses. I'm going to create epic content because, yeah, let's smash it. Vlogmas 15. Tree. This is a multi-purpose dry oil for your face, hair and body. It looks so pretty and sparkly. So our washing machine's broken. We're meant to put this obviously in this drawer. It doesn't really work, so I, I'm putting it in this drawer. I, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Guess what? 
Paul didn't take his lunch to work, so it's my lunch now. I've had to do a bit of a reshuffle on this side. So originally this marble chopping board, which I got from like TK Maxx for really not a lot of money. Originally that sat there. So on this worktop there's a hole because that's how the fridge then plugs into the plug sockets here. So that's why I've got stuff kind of here. So I'm hiding the hole, the extension cable and the plug sockets to move this to here. Because as we're making teas, the heat, as you can see from the cups, is actually damaging the top. So if I put this here, then that will prevent that. Be careful with heat, even from your teacups. Makeup done. I'm going to now shoot some things like this wonderful blouse that I'm wearing. Now just flicking through the photos that I took, my hair has faded so much. I didn't top up the colour today when I washed it. Just air dropping all my favourites to my phone and then I can edit on there. I just got so used to editing on my phone now and you've seen how I edit. And yes, I use a lot of apps, but that gets the kind of look I want because obviously Photoshop on your computer really is not going to be complete in one app. So that's why I use so many. Paul's now home. So some focus. I have my glasses on so I feel really blind in this lighting. It's very orange. He's a little bit late because he went to Paper Chase to buy me cards and he even looked up on Pinterest ideas of cards to get me. Don't tell people that. No, but that's so, so sweet. And there was nothing in Paper Chase so he ended up buying it online for me. I feel like I need to get you a new card. I feel like I haven't no. put enough effort into the card buying. You know all the cards in there and I just wanted to get you something different. And I think I found you a good card. This is just for the Christmas card. And I think it's more of a, a sort of cute, you'll appreciate it card rather than, oh, that's a nice card, if that makes sense. Do you want to see the ones I picked on Pinterest? Or show them. Yeah. yeah. This is not the card that I got her, by the way, and it's very different to all these cards. And, and some of these aren't even Christmas cards. Some of these are cards that I just came across while browsing for Christmas cards. By the way, Pinterest, awesome on the Christmas card front here. We will always be friends till we are old and senile. Then we can be new friends. I peek at you in the shower. And that's probably the face I'd pull if I was peeking at you in the shower, to be fair. <laughs> May your Christmas be as magical as a unicorn farting rainbows. <laughs> no, I like that one. I wanted to give you a unicorn for Christmas, but it kept breaking through the wrapping paper. See, I'm quite easy to buy for, like, unicorns, animals, dinosaurs. If you are stuck for something to buy someone, go on Pinterest and put in their interest and Christmas, and I'm sure you'll find what something. What the hell did you put in for me? Christmas cards, unicorn. But then the others weren't unicorn. Oh, I'm not telling you the other searches I've done. So I think we're going to go to your dad's for dinner now. Because you can't be able to cook because you've just not cooked in days. You are looking like a princess and I look like man on the floor next door. Oh, I did I don't know this what morning. that means. I did some ugly crying this morning and I had a Why big red nose. Why did you cry? Nose. And just got all like happy emotional. And then yeah, I had a really good lunch today because that was literally the best stir fry I've ever done and you didn't even have any. And I did two loads of washing today. I am housewife air. <laughs> Oh, it does come off a bit. Oops. <laughs> this is one of the shots that I took today. I love how this came out. This comment, Daenerys, mother of dragons. Leanne, mother of unicorns. This is a bloody epic comment. We decided not to go to my dad's and instead we're having pizza. Almost half eight and I'm so angry. I'm so angry. <laughs> Feed me. Lead. Pizza, chips and garlic bread. Yummy. Now about to start the series Westworld. I have no idea what it's about. We've had good things. I have my glasses on so I can see the telly. We're gonna see night now because by the time it's finished, it's gonna be really late. So, see you tomorrow.